construção. Hello guys and welcome back here on the channel on Transalp Explorers. This video is about the maintenance of my Transalp 650. Before we leave for our new motorcycle tour through the Balkans, I will replace the air filter, the oil and the filter, the o-rings between the cylinders and the coolant. and also replacing the bearings for the rear wheel. I choose to replace the rear wheel bearings as a precaution. The last time they were replaced in 2021. Since then, we have traveled about 30,000 kilometers with them on the bike. Because we don't really have access to a press or other tools, we use the classic hammer and the road to knock out the bearings. Mai una. Also, when we have to put the bearings back in place, we use the same thing, the hammer and hit slowly and carefully. On both sides, we do the same thing. For the large bearing, we had access to the press with it, and everything went smoothly.
Now it's time to change the air filter and I choose again HIFLO. Those little ears on the side fairings have been broken from many years anyway. That way I have much easier access to remove the tank without disassembling them. The air filter was changed one year ago. It still looked good, but if I was with the bike at that stage I wanted to replace that as well. We all know that it's not easy to replace the air filter on the 650. The next step is to change the oil and the filter. The oil looked good, it had about 5000 kilometers, but because also another 5000 kilometers motorcycle tour was coming up, I decided to replace it. I used this oil Eneos 1040 synthetic since 2019. Since then I have driven about 60,000 kilometers with it. I am satisfied with it, the engine sounds good and the gearbox works nicely. The next step is to change the coolant and the o-rings between the cylinders. I also recently figured out that replacing the o-rings does not necessarily require replacing the coolant. This is because a vacuum is created and the coolant does not flow out. I personally haven't tested it yet, but it seems it works. I've seen others do this. No. I replaced these o-rings between the cylinders last year. That was the first time I changed them. I didn't have the time to wait about 10 days for the originals to arrive. So I replaced them with what I found. Apparently, for some reason, after a year it started to drip again. This time I ordered the original ones. The process is the same for both o-rings, first the one side, then the other. The process is simple especially if you are two people helping each other with these tools. It must have that shape that can hook the o-rings, but work carefully so you don't pinch them. It would be good to lubricate the area.
I want to thank Christian for welcoming me to his service. And of course to thank Tavi for the help. The Transalp is ready for the next adventure. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave us a comment and if you want, you can take a look on the other channel on the Lucifer Videographer.